Hello, I am your teacher, Gary Vernier. Welcome to Activate Your Grammar. Today, you are going to learn how to use the present tense in affirmative sentences in English. Let's begin with what you already know, the present tense in Spanish. In Spanish, to make a sentence in the present tense, you have to conjugate the verb. To conjugate a verb means to change it. Here's an example. The verb hablar changes to hablo, hablas, habla, hablamos, hablan. You can easily see how in Spanish we change the verb to express the present tense. So what do we do with verbs in English to form the present tense? The answer is nothing. In English, you always use the simple form of the verb, with one very important exception. Let's look at some examples. For example, the verb speak. I speak, you speak, he speaks, she speaks, it speaks, we speak, they speak. Did you notice the exception? If the subject is he, she, or it, you have to add an S to the end of the verb. It really is that simple to form the present tense in affirmative sentences in English. The video will now stop and you will have an activity to identify verbs in the present tense in affirmative sentences. Okay, let's review really quick. Remember, all you need to do to form a sentence in the present tense is use the simple form of the verb. If the subject is I, you, they, or we. If the subject is he, she, or it, you have to add an S to the end of the verb. There is, however, one big difference between Spanish and English. In English, you always have to say the subject before the verb. In Spanish, you do not. Here is an example. Hablo equals yo hablo. But it is not necessary in Spanish to say yo, which is the subject. In English, you must always say the subject. For example, I speak. You cannot simply say speak in English, or we have no idea who or what you are talking about. Here are some examples of the present tense in affirmative sentences in English. Let's take the verb love. The affirmative sentence I love pizza. You love pizza. He loves pizza. Did you notice how we added S to the end of love? Do you remember why? That is right, because the subject is he. I love pizza. You love pizza. We love pizza, they love pizza, but he loves pizza, she loves pizza, it loves pizza. The video will now stop and you will have an activity to form the present tense in affirmative sentences. Congratulations! Now you know how to form affirmative sentences in the present tense. I will see you back here again for the next lesson. Good luck!